Welcome back to Samsta Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're gonna play a very special game. Now this game is called Slash Slash Hacks, <laughs> or Hacks, and this is a hacking game. And it's a very interesting game, so it can be both plays as a co-op or solo, we're gonna be doing the solo version. It comes out into early access on 31st of July, which is probably the time you're watching this, I'm obviously playing it beforehand, so there might be some slight changes. And it's a game where you, that has kind of like a lot of mini games in it and you're trying to hack banks and it's really cool and let's just begin. I think the easiest way to show you is just to start off. Unfortunately we can't restart our progress so we're just gonna continue, we're gonna start off with the very first mission. But essentially at the beginning the hex um, group invites you to join them and there are a group of hackers who steal from the rich and then keep the money to themselves because who wants to give out to the poor not the hex group and they're inviting us to join them and this first mission central bank of back is considered a good mission for a newbie so they're like do it and they only have one rule and that is to stay hidden so you've decided to ditch the straight and narrow and try your hand at hacking hey well it just so happens that we have the perfect job for a noob like you the Central Bank of Beck is currently busy switching over to a new IT service provider, which means that this is the perfect time to execute a cyber attack. You have a small window of opportunity, so you'll have to be quick and keep your wits about you. This bank contains two security measurement flaws, namely the injection and force nodes, leaving two open vulnerabilities for you to bypass in order to withdraw the recommended funds to your account. Now once we click hack, the game starts a timer, so I'm going to give you a little bit of an explanation beforehand. So essentially there are two nodes, injection and force nodes, and you need to bypass them. You have a usual limit of how many nodes you can sort of mess up bypassing, so which you can have an error on. So in this mission it's going to be one, so we can mess up one of those. And for each type of a node, you have a different way to solve it. So each type of a node gives you like a different mini game. So when it comes to the force node, you're going to be guessing passwords. And each password gives you a probability of that password being correct and a list of passwords that are, I guess, equally or more likely to be correct. And then you try one of those. In injections, you have to connect sort of like a pipe, uh, you remember those games where you had like pipes and you had to connect water from a starting to ending point? That's what the injection force is about. So let's begin. Now if you were playing it in co-op, you would have one screen where you're doing the hacking and another screen where you see kind of like what's happening. But because we're going to be playing with solo, we have to skip one back and forth between those two. So we're going to go up to solo and we're going to begin. First thing we got to do is we're going to click here on a list to see the commands that we can do. And first up, you gotta find out the kind of nodes we've got. So we've got injection and force nodes. Then we're going to install applications by the same name, force and injections. We're going to start with the force node. So first thing we gotta do is we gotta unlock the force node. We're gonna be able to click on it now. If it's not unlocked, like the injection, it's just going to say status node locked. So we're gonna to have to click on the force one. And we're going to run the application associated to it, which is gonna help us figure it out. So we're gonna click on this. We're gonna now write some random password. And now if we switch to this other screen, we're going to see the probability of it. And the higher the probability, the less options we have here. So we're gonna write now Rachel. Rachel. And this is wrong, but it had a higher probability. So now if I click on Rachel, there are going to be less options here. Actually, okay, this time you don't get less options. Uh, I think it was Heaven there was an option. Okay, so Heaven was actually successful, so that's pretty quick. But normally if you click, you can see the set of options and sometimes the higher the probability, they usually have less options. Now we're going to go towards the injection node. So first thing we gotta do is we gotta unlock the injection node. And then we're going to run our injection application and this is like a pipe system we have to connect so all pipes need to be connected to this start node and the start node has to be connected to this end node so that's very important so what, how are we going to do this so first of all we got to play it like that so we can add new nodes over here so i'm adding this node to a2 and then i'm going to see it here in a2 and i can continue moving so then i'm going to place one up here connect it down and then we're going to have this to connect it. We're gonna go downward so that we can make sure that, actually, we should go down. Okay, so we're gonna have one more set going down and then one going up so we're connected to the end pipe. And then here, we're gonna need to connect it all to this. So we're gonna have a go up, 
that goes down here and we're gonna just have a connection you could also put this stopper thing to just kind of end the pipe but i do like having it kind of in a big circle i think it's fine so this way all pipes are connected to the starting one and the starting one is connected to the ending one and there are no open pipes you can't have a pipe like open that would not have end or be connected everything has to be connected so now that we're happy with this we're gonna click here on inject we successfully connect it which means we have now successfully connected both of these so we can start a transfer now this thing means that you could have one error so if you messed up one of these it would still be fine okay so now we're going to start the transfer if you click on this it's just going to say access denied so we have to start a transfer so we're going to click here to start transfer and we're going to have this connection here then we're going to open this and we're going to click open these pipes and we're going to click transfer we're going to start transferring money okay now to this now some of these will highlight in red in which case you have to stop the transfer otherwise the pipe will break and then you can no longer use it okay but i'm switching the screens with tab if you were playing with the co-op then the other person would see the other screen and they could tell you what to do we, can, we are trying to get as close to the threshold as possible, but we cannot go over it. If we do, it's going to be a failure. So we got to watch out for that. It's a really cool game. It might be a bit hard for me to explain because I have to do this thing quickly because I am on a timer. But it's, it's a very fun game, especially once you kind of figure out how you're supposed to play it. Then it's a really cool because you can do a lot of really fun stuff here. Once we get to like 30,000, I'm probably only going to keep like one pipe open because we got the time. And you want to make sure that we really don't go over the thing. At any point, you can click stop here and be kind of done. And this is essentially us stealing money from the bank and putting it into our own account. We're okay so far here. Nothing is red. I could show you what happens. Actually, I might, might show you what happens if we just kind of keep it red. Just so you can see. Or maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to put this on. Because we've got the time and I want to make sure that we don't go overboard. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it so that you can see what happens. I'm going to have to stop this one. Yeah, you can see here that it broke. And now it's it can be no longer used. Alright, I think we're ha happy now. We're just going to click stop. And we stole... How much did we steal? 37,641. Nice, we didn't uh, trigger any errors, we completed all the nodes, and we've got overall rating of 4. Now, let's do the next mission. You're probably expecting a pat on the back after that last job, but let's be honest. An 8-year-old in a remedial class could have bypassed those nodes with his eyes closed. Hey. This next one is a bit more tricky. Sandbarn Bank has recently lowered their interest rates, and that just pisses us off. We've got someone in the inside, and according to his intel, their security hasn't been so tight over the last few weeks. Alright, so we'll be doing a keylogger and a four. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the keylogger. Keylogger is more complicated, so we'll start with that. So first thing we got to do is we got to install the app. So we're going to install the keylogger and the force. We're going to unlock the keylogger, and we're going to run the keylogger. So. We're going to jump here to the keylogger and we're going to see this. And here in the keylogger, I'm going to click log and it's going to tell you which letters are right. So we've got a dollar sign GLG. So we're going to find one of those here. They're probably not going to be all there. We found L. Here we've got Q5 or at. Do at. Here we've got 65 or S or hashtag. 655. We'll place 5 here. If you make a mistake once, you're done. ETPG. ETPG. We'll do E. E. And then finally, our options are N, R, B, 9. I can see R. R. Alright, so this was successful because we got the right one. So every, all of these highlighted ones are the correct one. Now, we gotta do the force thing. We're not done. Unlock force, run force. We're going to open the force thing. We're going to just, again, just type random password. We're going to go with animal. Rachel. It's all 17%. Okay, so it wasn't really helping us, but now it's better. 11. Uh, how about yellow? Alright, people. We're done. So now we're going to start a transfer. Start transfer. 
And we're going to click on this. We're going to connect our pipes. Oh, okay. And we're going to just watch out. We can get up to 45,000. So yeah, you can see that each of these kind of um, nodes have slightly different mini games. So I think it's quite fun to kind of figure out like how to do the right mini games. I'd probably say the keylogger. I don't know actually if the keylogger is more time co time consuming than the injection because the injection can take a while to kind of figure it out right. But probably the keylogger is probably more uh, more time consuming because you have to kind of watch out for the fact and you have to remember like four letters and it, and, and then in another. 10 seconds you have to remember different letters and you gotta make sure that you don't remember the original one and you know just kind of mess it up so yeah i would probably say the difficulty would be force then injection then keylogger so far from what we played how much time do we have 26 seconds so we are pretty good we should be able to get there i think i mean we'll find out but we're not doing too badly i so certainly get some money even if it's not forty-five thousand. Euros. I, oh, okay, okay. Uh, we gotta, we gotta stop. No, but I revenue threshold surpassed. Result in detection of system. We we didn't get one with the revenue. Now this is clearly a bug because we had less than forty five thousand. I did another test run where I only where I stopped at twenty five thousand and it worked out. So I'm not quite sure. Maybe like the game in maybe inside the game it seems to look at a different number. Like maybe still thirty thousand instead of the forty five that we that it chose to us. I don't know, but you know whatever. This is uh, before the game is even in early access. I'm sure they'll fix it by the time you play it if you choose to play it. Regardless, you can click on the right to watch. Uh, and another game about hacking. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.